Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is we've, we've called it the most sensible car in the world. Yes. But I actually think standing here now, it's the most untouchable car in the world. Because the price... I mean, a Lambo's faster, but whatever. Is it though? Yeah, yes. On the highway at the speed limit, they go the same speed. <laughs> and you're doing it for a lot cheaper in this. So I've been living with this car and it is weirdly... The price just means it's just protected. There's nothing you can say. It's like, it's like an amnesty. It's like a get out of jail free card. Okay, well, I mean, there are cheaper cars that cover similar functions. Like, how much more is this than a normal Corolla that isn't a hybrid in the same spec? As an LE, I think it's like three or four Canadian more. You, oh. you cannot get a car that's all-wheel drive and hybrid close to this price, as far so, as I know. So for three grand, you get a hybrid powertrain, yeah. roughly, and all-wheel drive. Yeah, so we should mention that the price of this car, as, this okay. is a base all-wheel drive hybrid. So all the all-wheel drive Corollas are hybrid, and this one's 30 grand. Can nice. Canadian. Cheap. 24. 24 US. And I nice think it cheap. actually is cheaper than the previous model year as well. I think that went down. It is not exciting, okay? It is not nope. exciting. No, it's not. In fact, it's downright bloody boring, okay? <laughs> Even in this celestite grey yeah. colour. This is unseasoned meatloaf. As a, as a car. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you're getting it for free. <laughs> this okay. is someone saying, here's unseasoned meatloaf. And you go like, alright. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is if guac at Chipotle wasn't extra. <laughs> That's what this is. Yeah. It's so, it's, so it's, yeah, this is 30 grand. It has 134 horsepower. It's got a combustion engine in the front, an electric motor in the front, a tiny little electric motor in the back, which is just on demand. Yeah. This is not, if you're looking at like getting an Impreza or something, that has, that has an all time symmetrical all wheel drive system. It's from Subaru. This is a very much a, if you're slipping or if you need extra throttle, it cuts in. Right. I think it's right. good. For, I don't, don't quote me, I will confirm this, but I think it's good for 40 horsepower. Oh, okay. And that's it. That's it. So okay. the, but the combined horsepower is still 134. Listen, it's not an exciting looking view. I don't know if this spec is doing it any favors. Well, this color, Celestite, Celestite is known for uh, higher consciousness and, and thoughts of the divine and enlightenment. So it's an enlightening Corolla. And we've got like, some experience with that, whether you've seen that video or not. I you may know. not have. We'll see. Um, the wheels. Listen, the wheels are not exciting. No. I'll give you that. I think they're 16, uh, 15. These are 15 inches as standard. Right. If you jump up to the, the SE, which I wouldn't do, I'd, I'd keep this as cheap as possible. Yeah. Because currently there are no compromises. The, the boot is still big. The seats fold down. It's yeah. just very much a Corolla. And if you start spending more. OK, so the SE, I think, gets you a sunroof, cooler looking seats a twin tip exhaust right and maybe alloys and then you can go up to the xle okay well there's extra trims but again once you start spending more you first of all you get very close to the prius which is way cooler than this it's a weird thing to say have you seen how many hashtags are in the prius so many hashtags in the prius and once you, and i think that's about 39 40 grand canadian it's um, a lot of money for hashtags. It's a lot of money and again it's sleek yeah okay listen here's the thing sometimes unseasoned meatloaf is exactly what the heart desires. May no, I drive I think this? It's what the head desires. No, it's the heart. It's, it's like it's like a it's like a, a soulful thing. Sometimes you just need something simple and happy. Can I drive this now? You can, yeah. But I think it's your heart disease. If your heart wanted meat, it would just not be good. Well, maybe I don't know. I don't know how the body works. Okay. Immediately, everything is just so easy. Just easy. No. Heated, you got heated seats. You've got a heated steering wheel. Really? Yeah. This what? is like a base model though. Wireless CarPlay. The sound system is inexplicably good for a base Toyota. In fact, all the new Toyotas, we've been playing with the JBLs in yeah. the GR Corolla, the Corolla Cross. Yeah. And it's all been terrible, no bass. Yeah. This has way more bass. It's not particularly... Um, like high fidelity. Yeah, the yeah. fidelity is not great, but, yeah. it, but it is otherwise like it's powerful. I, I, it, it, this car just sits there going, I rest my case. Yeah, like the ride over those bumps was very good. This is so... Yeah, the ride's good. Nice immediate torque there, right? Yeah, so again, not much power, but thanks to no, the EV... No, definitely not. Thanks but, to the EV stuff. But like, you, do, you, do you get that, like... Uh, we're, just, we're on gravel when I pulled away. I'm going to pull away from a stop sign here. Do you get that immediate kind of, like... Little bit. A little well, bit Well, there is an EV-only EV mode. Oh, really? But it's very fussy, yeah. So oh, it, okay. It, well, I think once you hit about 40 kilometers an hour, I was testing it, it, it cuts in the engine. Oh, okay. And then you have to very gradually get there. The yeah. moment you apply any level of throttle, it, it goes, oh, well, hang on. 
I need the 1.8 litre for help. The CVT is a bit nasty though. Yeah, the ECVT, but it's well, it is well calibrated. It just doesn't make any very nice sounds. And then yeah. you, you also have B gear. What's B? B. B. So in an EV, B gear is like optimized Best. braking for recharge. Right. And this does do recharge as well, but at the cost of fuel efficiency. It, it, like it puts the engine on when you brake. Okay. And it makes horrible sounds, like horrible engine sounds. But if you want maximum fuel efficiency, which is what this is all about, this is about ease and cost of ownership. Okay. And, and you know, I've, I've, when I've been babying it and kind of trying to hypermile it, I haven't been super well behaved, but I've been getting about 5.5 liters to six liters per hundred kilometers, which is 40 miles per gallon up towards 50, which right. is in an all wheel drive hybrid. That's very good. That's part of that is the on-demand all wheel drive. It's, it's, no, it's not, it's, it's yeah. And this is very, very, very nice to drive. The seats are nice and wide. They're yeah, quite comfy. Great driving position. Good driving position. I, decent knee room on all sides, right? Headroom, good. My wife's been annoying me about this. <laughs> she's, she's, you want to get one? She's just, like, why don't we just get this? Just get one of these. We need something normal. Yeah. And this is the most normal thing in the world. This is easily the most normal thing in the it's world. It's very normal. Yeah. yeah. Good fuel economy. Great personality. <laughs> I... Okay, so hold on. I'm just going to snap off some like review points of what I feel like when I drive. But I just want to say before I even bother doing that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because this is just car. It just exists yeah. as a thing that gets you from A to B. And okay, but here if they go. If this was an angry, opinionated person online, it would say that Corolla don't care about your feelings. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but anyway, here they are. Kind of slow response from the engine. The CVT sounds a little bit nasty, um, but there's a there's a there's a very smooth delivery of torque, and as of yet, I have not noticed the difference between EV and no, like full you're, EV. You're in EV mode right now. You don't even know. No, you don't even notice. There's zero zero jerks or jolts of any kind, right? Steering very simple. Car leans a little bit on the front end on the way in. Yeah, very light. It's got that Corolla it's thing. Got you can very, steer very with your pinky. If yeah, you want to yeah, too. but but it, that doesn't mean that it's like completely numb. It's, it's numb, but it's not completely numb. There are more numb cars out there. You might want right. for leather seats if you, if you go for the upgraded These uh, are getting trims. warm real quick though, I'll yeah, tell you Yeah, also that. that heated steering wheel gets boiling. It is very, very like hot. Like this yeah. here especially? Yeah. Very hot. Yeah, it's very hot. No, the, the ride is good. There's not an egregious amount of road noise coming through at no. all either. It's actually quite quiet in here for yeah. what it is. There's cheap plastics in here, but of oh, course yeah, it's okay. a base Corolla. That's okay. It's a base Corolla. It is, if it, listen, if it didn't have cheap plastics, there'd be something wrong with the universe. Yeah. Right? It's supposed to be the economy car. It it's also a Corolla. It has a gauge cluster in between your steering wheel, unlike the Prius, which is over the yeah, steering Yeah, that's wheel. stupid. I don't like that. But the Prius had a much nicer screen in here and, and like it more did. styled interior. The Prius is yeah. definitely a nicer car. The Prius is a definitely a nicer car. I will say I like the steering in this a little bit better than the Prius. And in terms of like uh, intuitiveness when it comes to, uh, as a driver, like what I'm used to when I think of a car, this is more of a car than the Prius is. The yeah. Prius drives a little bit, uh, it's, like, it's like there's more going on. In the Prius. I say it feels more like the Crown. It's like a bit softer, a bit more complicated. Yeah, a bit more complicated. This just feels very simple. There's, there's, there's nothing about the dri driving of this car that I have to think about. It's just like the perfect get in and go car. Yeah. This, if this car was a t-shirt, it would say, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. I got you. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. And actually the, the rear seat room is pretty good. Like I think if I remember, if, we, if I remember correctly, the Prius, it was slightly compromised. My head wasn't touching the back, but it was, it was close because of the slope. This is not like that. And you know what, my, my joke about meatloaf actually rings true right now because this, it might not be the spiciest food you've ever had, it might not be the saltiest food you've ever had, but it's just, you don't think about it. You, 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 you watch TV and you eat your meatloaf and, you can and that's it, it. And, and you're it, nourished. And it's a meatloaf that lasts 15 years. <laughs> exactly. At least. No, this is genuinely a fantastic car for yeah. the price. No questions about that. It's just one, it's just one small hiccup. Oh. The dealers. Ah. Because I looked at this, I genuinely looked at this car, and when we drove the Prius, I said I would happily own that car. Yep. But I think I, something about the, the, the slope and the extra expense doesn't, doesn't appeal to me as much. And I started to look at this, and what dealers have done in, in Canada, and I don't know what they do in the States, they just mark them up. But you, mark, you mark, I don't think you're allowed to mark up. You can't just mark up a new car right. in, in Canada. So what they do is they drive them around the block for 100 kilometers. And then go, this is pretty used, you know? 
pretty used yep. and they can mark up a used car. And yep. I'm seeing these $30,000 cars going for $40,000. And if you're a dealer that's done that, I want you to fart in a bowl for three weeks, yeah. close the Tupperware, and then every morning just go mm. into your face. Yeah. Because that's not cool. This yeah. is, this is, this is a GR the, Corolla. This is a people's car. This is a car for people. The, the, the whole point of, of, of Corollas and economy cars is to provide cars for the everyman. So that people can, families can get their kids to school safely in a modern vehicle. And what you've done is you've made it unaffordable for them. That makes you genuinely bad people to the core. Is so f***ing annoying, James. <laughs> I know. This is a 30 grand car. It should be a 30 grand car. Period. And there, you know, there, it's not without competition. There's a Civic hybrid coming, but I don't think the Civic has an all wheel drive system. So that, that might tip someone over the edge because yep. If it, that little bit of snow, that yes. little bit of, Assuming yeah. we live in a normal world where, you know, inflation isn't a thing and everything isn't collapsing, um, this is a top, top, top pick. If you just want a small, compact, everyday livability car, this is very top of my recommendations, honestly, after driving it. Yeah. Wonderful vehicle. But if you go to a dealer and you see them standing next to a bowl of farts, you don't buy from them because they're self-punishing. Yeah. You tell them to sniff it. <laughs>